Hello again, Internet. I know it's been a while since I posted the first episode of this, but I'm back now. I went on a brief holiday because I had some time off of work, so I thought I'd go and see some family. But now I'm back. We're going to do this, and hopefully... Excuse me, just having a drink. Uh, hopefully I will be getting episodes up more regularly now. Um, but that was enough talking. Let's get on with this. Um, so, right, we've got a cup cane... I'm undecided whether I want to play the cup. I don't think I do, so I'm just going to sim it. Like, I might play the FA Cup, but Football League Cup I am not interested in. Like, I know realistically for Wickham in real life that would be a big fixture, but for me it's it's not. So I'm not going to play them. I'm just going to sim through them until we get to a game that I actually want to play. Um, I said at the end of the last episode that I already have a pretty good idea of uh, who I want to keep, who I want to get rid of, as I see that Akinten was going to be out for the next week or so. Um, I, I did have an idea at the time of saying that, but it's been so long I genuinely can't remember. But we've still got plenty of time in the transfer window, so I'm going to play another game. I'll always give the players a few games like to see how they are before making my mind up whether I want to keep them or not. I'm not just going to get rid of them if they have one bad game. I need to get rid of Akinfenwa because he, he's going to die if I play him. Um, let's go with you, you're semi-fit. I think I'm going to struggle with League 2 players' fitness levels. So, see, you'd expect League 2 players to have better fitness, or at least good fitness, considering they play a lot more games than the higher league teams do. So, obviously, they have to go through the qualifi qualifying rounds of all the cups, and they have a bigger league, so they play more games. So, you'd expect them to be more fit. But, apparently not. Who knows? Right, let's just piss about with some penalties for a bit. I'm still undecided whether I like the new penalty system in uh, this FIFA. Like, it's, it took me ages to get used to. <coughs> but slowly getting there, slowly getting used to it. Right, so who are we playing today? Morecambe. I completely even forgot who we were playing. Okay, so I believe my team is unchanged from the last time it played. I mean, I haven't changed anything, so unless anything automatically changed, which it shouldn't have, should be the same team. So, let's get on with this, and let's see if we can get our second win of the season. Right, kick it off. Let's go. <clears throat> right. I can't remember what the last score in the game was. La last score in the game? Last game score was. I think it was 3-0. I'm not entirely sure, though. But, right, this is a good start. Slow build-up. Well, it's not really slow. Go on, bang it! Ah. How did he get that so wrong? Like, I barely powered that up. How has that gone so far high? So far high, my English today is beyond poor. Right, let's see if we can get this game. My aim for this game is to try and get a decent amount of possession. So I'm going to switch to possession. Well, I would if I pressed my button. And then we're going to try and keep the ball, which is something I'm not very good at. I said in the last game, but I was not exaggerating. I really cannot keep the ball to save my life. I am awful at keeping the ball. Because I just I get bored of just playing short passes and I'll try something ambitious and lose the ball like that. Come on, let's try and get it back. Well, apparently that was a foul because you're not allowed to touch people. This football is a sport for soft people. Come on, play it. Come on. Him. Bang it! Oh, God's sake, if he'd hit that first time, definite goal, but taking a touch just kind of screwed me. Right, standard FIFA, front post OP. Don't know if it works with crappy teams, probably not, but I'm going to keep trying it. And we're just going to keep getting corners until it works. Oh, that's gone too far. And another corner. Right, let's try something different. Let's put it towards the penalty spot. Nope, over again. There we go, it's the last of the corners. That's some brief excitement, like four corners in a row. Any normal person probably would have managed to score one of them, but not me. I am not good at corners. Well, that's not where I wanted that ball to go, but it worked out. Cut back. Bang it. Oh, come on. Finish it. Yes. Get off me, QB, you prick. There we go. 
that that Cohen guy? I can't remember his name. Who scored? Who are you? Harris Cohen, oh yeah, guy with a stupid name. <clears throat> Somebody pointed out to me that in my last game I called his name stupid and then if anybody watches this game with that name is going to be a little bit offended, but I don't care. If you're watching this and you have that name, you have a stupid name. I, I don't care. Oh, come on, bang it first time. Oh, wow. Okay, yeah, lead two. I forgot I am not good players. <laughs> it's worth a go, though. This is good. We seem to be on top of them, keeping the ball-ish and getting it into scoring opportunities. I'm getting scoring opportunities, I should say. Right, there's no pass on, so let's go back. Work it slowly. No stupid passes, he says. And then does Every time I say no stupid passes, I do something stupid. I irritate myself. There we go. Keep it. Keep it. Keep the What? What for? Am I not allowed to have the ball? This is why I can't keep the ball. Whenever I do get it. FIFA just fucks me over. <coughs> on a black man. Why are you wearing a turtleneck? Absolute weird person. Oh, come on, please. You. I hate you when the keepers come running out like that because they always fuck it up. I also had another comment from somebody about my last video about how much I swear. I don't. I don't care. I'm going to swear a lot. I'm not going to stop myself. So, if you're offended by swearing, then feel free to fuck off. <laughs> Come on. Somebody make a run. These two players suck. Right, come on. There we go. Have that. Turn it back. Oh, nearly got a foul. Okay, one more. One more. Same way. Take touch. Bang it. Ah, close. Unlucky. I don't mind missing as long as it's close. It's when they miss easy chances I all start to get annoyed at them. But nobody's standing out as playing really badly for me at the moment. And I feel like I've got more options up front by not having Akin Fenwick. Because, like, yes, he's a beast, but like he doesn't offer that much. Yeah, he can hold up the ball, but if nobody's there for him to hold up the ball for, then he's not going to... That was a shot, believe it or not. That was awful. Who was that? Is that the guy that scored the goal? It was. Jesus. <laughs> that was just terrible. <laughs> like, even for League 2 standards. Like, non-league football. Like, Sunday League football isn't even that bad. That was shocking. But, uh, he's allowed one. I let him have one. He scored, so he's allowed to miss one. But if it keeps happening, then I'm not putting up with that. Go on, bang it. Good save keeper. I don't think it was going in anyway, but you never know. Oh, get it back. No, we didn't. Come on. I'm aware I've gone a bit quiet and punched her and not conceding because I always concede in the 45th minute. Like, I think everybody concedes in the 45th minute. It's just standard FIFA bullshit. EA say there's no fucking thing in the game to make it OP in the 45th minute. I do not believe them. Like, it's just not a... There's no way it can't be a thing. It happens too much. The amount of games I've lost, like, 1-0 to a 45th minute goal, or 2-0 to a 45th minute goal and a 90th minute goal. But then there's a lot of times it has helped me out when I've been, like, 1-0 down, and then I've scored, like, two goals in the 45th minute or two goals in the 90th minute. So it helps then, but most of the time, all it does is screw me over. <coughs> right, that half went quick. What have I got the minutes set to? I think I've only got it to five, used to six. Anyway, 1 0 up, half time. That's not too bad. My players are. I think most of them can probably last for the end of the game as long as they don't try too hard, which they probably won't because it's League Two. Speaking of League Two, got very excited when uh, Wickham drew Spurs in the FA Cup. It was as you may have noticed in my last game. I am an Arsenal fan. I do believe I've mentioned it. So it will be nice to see Wickham try and do a job on uh, Spurs. I was going to try and get tickets for it because they went on sale yesterday, which was the 
3rd of January. And uh, I was going to try and get tickets, but you had to go to queue up because I'm not a season ticket holder or anything. And I was stuck in work, so I couldn't go. But apparently there still are some tickets left, so I may pop down there later on today and try and get some tickets. Because I would love to be there when Spurs get knocked out of the FA Cup. Which I'm fairly confident that Wickham probably could do a job of it. Wickham are playing well at the moment. Spurs, like, yeah, they're playing well, but they're not going to play a st full-strength squad in the fourth round of the FA Cup against the League Two side. It's just not going to happen. So the potential is there for there to be an upset. And if there is an upset, you saw it here first. I called it. I am a footballing genius. If there's not an upset, then I'm still a footballing genius. No, I'm not really. <coughs> Blackpool beating Portsmouth. That's both unexciting and irrelevant to me. Don't care. <coughs> it's been a bit of a boring start to the second half. Probably might end up cutting some of this out. I was. I'm still undecided whether to to leave in the whole game and let you guys see all of it or to cut out some of it I'm, I'm kind of undecided because part of me wants to just cut out the boring bits like this when nothing's happening but then part of me also can't be bothered to sit, <laughs> sit and edit it but I probably will cut them out eventually when I have more time at the moment I have very limited time to be able to record a video and edit it so they kind of it just gets posted as it is uh, I'm aware in the last video if anybody did see it that the uh audio was very out. I don't know what happened because when I watched the video back before rendering it, it was fine. I rendered it and assumed it would be fine so I didn't bother watching it back. Posted it and then somebody pointed out to me that the audio was out. Which was kind of annoying but I didn't have the time to go back and edit it and re-render it. So I just left it as it was. You can if anybody decides to watch this series the whole way through then you can see the improvements as we go along. Like I said in the last video, I will, well no, I think I wrote it in the description, I will uh, improve the sound quality soon because I know it's not that great. So as soon as I've got some spare money, I'll buy a decent microphone. Um, I'm debating buying a webcam as well. I mean, I've got a webcam, that's currently what I'm recording the voice on, that's why it's bad. But it's, it's not great quality, so I figured it makes more sense to just not put a webcam on that's shitty and just wait until I get a decent one, then put that in. But then I'm undecided whether I want people on the internet to see my face. <coughs> Not that it really bothers me that much, but you never know. I like to keep some privacy. You guys already know where I live. And you don't know my name, so. Oh, speaking of name, I mentioned in the last video that I was going to be going by the name of Placebo. I've changed my mind on that. I don't. I've gone off the name, so I'm just going to stick with. Uh, a nickname I already have, which is Asbo, so I've just I've changed my channel name to that, and uh, that's what I'm going to be going forward as. Plus, there was a lot of channels on YouTube with the name already, like already had the name Placebo, so I decided to just change off it to avoid confusion. There's still a few that have the name Asbo. <coughs> I think there's some uh, some rapper guy that has the name, but I, I I thought about trying to find something, but there's just nothing that's. I like, there's nothing that's me, so I figured screw it, I'm just going to go with this name. It was a good chance for them to score. Blackman saved me a lot. Like, I don't think I would have won the last game by as much if I didn't have him a goal, and he saved me a few times already in this game, so I'm very thankful for him. I think I'd be losing if it wasn't for him. <coughs> Maybe I may have slightly kicked him. It was a dive ref. <coughs> Screw it, I'm going to make a sub. I never make subs, but I figured I should try out some of my uh, sub players. Bean, you have a funny name. Um, that's the entirety of my centre midfield on the bench. That's helpful. Um, what I could do is play Wood to the left and then Bean in the middle. Do I have any other strikers? Um, let's try, actually. Can any of you guys play in a different position? Okay, so you can play pretty much everywhere. That's helpful. And you can only put a front. So I'm going to bring you on for his poor effort. I'm going to take him off. But he has been okay. So I kind of want to rest him as well. I don't want him to play too much and get injured. So we could, I'd like to keep all my players fit. Because 
the squad size is not great. I'm going to need to improve it. So hopefully I can get that done soon. Um, I don't want to make these episodes too long, so I might do some transfers after this game or like apply for some transfers and then just see what happens with them in the next episode. But I don't want to bore you guys too much with that. I know some people like seeing it, but some people don't. That nearly went badly. <coughs> so I'm undecided what to do. But I think I'm going to stick to now for, well, while it's transfer window, I'm going to go with like one game per episode and then do some transfers. And then once that's over with, I'll probably play two games every episode. And then try and get through the season as relatively quickly as possible without making the videos too long. Come on, this is good. Ah, oh, good save, Keeper. Right. Come on, let's just keep hold of the ball. 1 0 is an okay scoreline. Well, it is an okay line scoreline because I'll win. As long as I win, I don't really care how many goals I score. But the clean sheet is nice, and it's two clean sheets in a row, so I'm going to take that. <coughs> that was a very, very boring second half. <laughs> Literally nothing happened. Was there even any highlights from the second half? Well, three. One of the yellow card and two. Not until the 82nd minute. So that kind of proves... I mean, there was a good, like, what? Half an hour? 40 minutes? Just under 40 minutes where nothing happened. <laughs> so, that's just bad. Was that, yeah, 30-something 30, 30 minutes, 36. Yeah. Whatever. A win's a win. So, right, let's get back into the uh, main menu and see if we can come up with any uh, transfers. I've not really thought about it. I'm going to have a look at my squad and see what positions I'm short of and then see uh, see what players I could potentially buy. The problem with being lead two is it's hard to draw in the uh, big main players. You never know. Might manage to sneak in a couple of big names on loan. Well, not big names. You know what I mean, like relegation battle, Premier League reserve players, like that kind of big name. <laughs> okay, right. <clears throat> See what I've got position-wise. So we've got three keepers, one of which is forty-seven. So he's probably not going to be here much longer. You know, a player for the history books. Well, yes, because he's old as shit. I'm going to add him to the transfer list just to see if I can get any money for him. I don't think that's going to happen. Centre-backs. One, two, three, four. Four centre-backs. Uh, kind of like another one. So I am going to look for a centre-back. Um, I really should have got a pen and paper so I could write this down because I've got the memory of a fucking toothpick. Um... Okay, paper. I've got paper. Now I need a pen. Because unless I'm going to write this in like hieroglyphics with my face, then I'm not going to be able to. Damn it! Why are there never any pens? There's pens everywhere. Okay, I'm back and I've found a pen. So I'm going to write down uh, the positions I need. Okay, so centre back. How many centre backs do I realistically need? Um, Probably another one. Right, okay. Uh, one's a minimum. Left back. Okay, I've only got one left back and he's 29. So he's probably still got a few more years in him, but I don't want to overwork him. So I definitely need at least... I'm going to get one decent left back and then somebody that I can uh, work up through the ranks. Uh, right backs, I'm in the same situation, so I'm going to go with another two. Centre midfields, I believe I have quite a lot of. Yeah, so we've got one, two, three, four, five, six centre midfields. How old are they? One of them's two of them are thirty two, so they're probably not gonna have much longer left in them. So I may go for another centre mid. A nice young one, just so I can uh, work them up and get them a bit better. Left mids, two, one probably pushing it. So I'm gonna go with one more left mid as well, maybe two. Right mids. Okay, he's retiring at the end of the season, so he doesn't count. But I'm going to need to replace him anyway. And then after him, I've only got three. To be fair, so for right mids, I might be okay. Like, I know he's not great. He's young, so I, he could potentially be good. But, and he's retiring. I'm going to say I'm okay for 
right mids for now. Strikers I've got a lot of, but they all kind of suck. Like, Akinfen was not going to have much longer in him. He's 34. He's not going to have much longer in him, and neither is he. So realistically, I've got two strikers that are usable for a decent amount in the future. So I'm going to go with another striker. And I'm going to go with one, and I'm just going to kind of try and get one decent striker. So, right, that's everything. So let's see what we can do with this. What players have we got available? So straight away, just to go for search, right, country. I always, I like to stay in England. I don't like going for like, uh, abroad. Okay, all right, position. So let's start with centre backs, <coughs> and then like let's see if there's any for sale, and then we'll go from there. So, hey, English. Okay, right. I'm realistically, not gonna get any of these because they're gonna cost way too much. So. That's just not going to happen. <coughs> um, okay, midfielders. I oh, know, wait. No, we need to do. Okay, let's do the right back first. So, just going to go after you. Okay, so there's nothing for sale. Um, stop doing that. Half back. Half backs, nothing. I kind of figure this would happen. This always happens. I, I don't understand why there's never anything actually for sale. On McCready from Exeter. They don't know people, so it's unhelpful. Okay, strikers. Bound to be strikers for sale, right? So no go. <laughs> ah, I wonder how much they want for him. I'm actually gonna genuinely inquire about Snowgrass. His value is only 1.2 million. I like. I think I can afford that. Let me go in and see. Like whatever, 1.4, right, I'm going to put in just like a low ball bid of half a mil and just see what happens. I know he's not great, but he'd be good in League 2. Like, yes, he's a crap Premier League player, but for League 2, he'd be well good. Freddy Ladapo? Ladapo? I don't know. Excuse me if I murder you, he is rapid. Hmm. Let's have a look, see what his transfer thing is. 2.75. Okay, I may go for him just because he's rapid as hell. And like, his stamina's not going to be awful. I'm going to. Uh, okay, I'm going to scout him and thing. I'm going to acquire, but I'm just going to put in a, a low ball bid of like 100,000. And just see what they come back with. Okay, right, so there's two strikers put in bids for, so that's a good start. Um, so we still need everything else. Um, right, let's go through and see if there's anything uh, for, for loan. Let's have a look for loan. So that's probably the only way we're going to end up getting semi-decent players is loaning them. Okay, yeah, so this is straight away better. So, like, if you're looking at Chelsea, United, I mean, they're not going to have all four players on their books, so we might want to think about going for the better teams if we can. Okay. I'm looking through just to see if there's any really that I recognise. I don't think there will be. I think this is all going to be with like reserve players. Rob Holding from Arsenal. I don't think he's going to go to League Two, but you never know. I'm going to ask anyway, because why not? He's, he's he's never going to do it. Let's go for a season. I mean, I'm not going to put in a future fee because I'm I'm not going to be able to afford whatever they want, and I'm not going to be able to afford his wages. Completely forgot about that. Okay, so that's out of the window. Forget forget wages as a thing. Jay Hikade. Because there's nothing that I really recognise as being good. I'm gonna ask my scouts to just scout a few of the uh, big club people. Ice Davy, who how does his contract expire? You never know. He's not that great. He might want to stay with us. Okay, right. This I can't. I don't want to waste too much time doing this. Like, obviously, I'll, I'll just do it quickly, and then if he comes out Ben Chilwell, well, I don't, don't think he's going to come to League Two. But you never know. And what? What his wages going to be? Eh, I can afford his wages, but I wouldn't be able to afford much more. Why not? Let's let's see what happens. It could be some sort of miracle, and he could come. 
The other risk I don't, well, the other thing I don't want to happen is me loan a load of players and then this season be like, oh yeah, I'm doing all right. I've got a decent amount of players, and then next season they'll go away and I'm in this boat again. Joe Gomez, Liverpool. No, can't afford his wages. <coughs> Anyone else? Lewis Butroy. <laughs> That's a funny name. Matt Target. Good player. Can I afford his wages? That's the question. No, definitely not. I would use players that aren't actually that good on this much money. Um, we'll work. I'm sure I've played with him before. And he's semi decent. Hello. Hmm. No, he's not looking that great for me. Okay, well, I'm just going to go with those for now, and I'm just going to see what happens. Uh, I'm going to advance forward a little bit, and uh, we'll see what happens. Okay, yeah, yes, and I agree. Okay. What do you mean he's recently joined you? He's up for sale. I searched available players. And... Uh, FIFA. <laughs> it's just ridiculous. Uh, they're not going to come back. Oh, yeah, they are. <coughs> okay, transfer Barry Richardson. I don't know who Barry Richardson is. He's 45. I'm actually going to manage to get some money for him, despite the fact that he's a million years old. I'm not even going to think about that. Straight away, going to sell him. And then, except Benchel, well accepted. I can't accept him because some is too low. That's obviously, I knew that was going to happen. Some is too low. Okay. Um, who do I want? He was rapid. So I'm tempted to go with him. And he's a lot cheaper and he's going to have less wages. So I'm going to up that to like 250. And then see what they come back with. I might put in another bid for Sonogo anyway and just just to see what they would accept, but I don't want to spend too much money on it. So I'm only going to go up to like 800,000. Plus, I need to make some money. <coughs> the, what, I would, what I'd like to do is send out scouts, which I probably am going to do. Wait. Uh, I'm really tempted to do this, but if I do it, I've got no money left for wages. Like, at all. Oh, but he's a very, very good player. <coughs> I'm going to stall it and I'm going to see I'm going to get in some more players first because there's other players and left back is one of my biggest priorities because I've got no other players to play there I'm going to play the next I'm going to I'm going to think on it I'll play the next game in the next episode and I'll think about it while this is going on okay the scout reports I'll look at them later on and yes I know I know you've accepted Okay, so I'm going to end this episode here. Um, the next episode, I'll go through a few more transfers before the game um, and uh, tr try and get some more players in. Obviously, I'll have to play the game before that actually come in. And I'm going to think about the whole Chilwell situation. And hopefully, that uh, the guy from Palace will actually want to come. Because I think he'll be a good signing. Like He looks he looked pretty decent from his like estimated stats he didn't look awful and he's fairly cheap and I can't imagine he's going to want too much for a weight so I think that'll be a good signing for us and he's not too old as well so I think that'll be good um but anyway I'm gonna end this episode here and I will see you guys in the next one goodbye